Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and I'm the girl who's always there. Thank you for joining me and it's that time again where it is my Simply Sewing magazine. It's arrived. Um, I need to keep a track on what number I am on at the minute because I think I got the subscription that was six for £13 or something so I need to figure out how to cancel my subscription now because not for any particular reason um just the reason is because i've got so many sewing patterns and i don't have time to sit and read the sewing magazine and i just have too many sewing patterns so you know i tried it for a little while and that's the only reason i love the magazine love the patterns that come in it as well nothing at all wrong with it all it's just that i have too many patterns too many too many so yeah let's dive into it so as always i like to do my first thoughts so you get my initial reaction when i get into the magazine and what have we here so the explorer backpack oh that's really cute is that durable cotton canvas and weighty items i like that now normally they have a lot of tote um patterns lots of tote patterns but this is different i like this test your bag making skills and stitch the perfect backpack for a summer full of uh, adventures it's really cute is that i don't know if and when i'll ever have time to make it um but i like i like that it's nice and then we have the frankie top that's cute i like this so um get your wardrobe summer ready with a tank top you want to make in every shade to fit your mood it's cute is that isn't it i love those um i love that um the bunny tie straps oh is that what they're called bunny tie straps really cute and it's a pattern from vanessa hansen i've not heard of um, vanessa hansen before but i like i really like so it's um obviously made with um, recommended fabrics light to medium woven fabrics for example viscose cotton lawn lightweight linen and then it's measurements bust 33 8 1 8 um to 53 and 3 quarters and a waist 25 and a quarter to 44 and a half and hips 33 inch 1 8 to 52 and a quarter so yeah what do you think i in my um so frugal there was a very similar pattern that i was thinking about actually that had these bunny tie tops so because this is already printed out i might i might go for this actually um because i didn't do that plan that i had an idea of and see i always forget <laughs> i see it in the magazine previously and then i forget it's like a big surprise when i see it so this is pretty it's a sophia dress oh so she's feeling the She's feeling the sipping of a sweet iced tea on the sun trap balcony, bottled up and infused into a dress. <laughs> okay. Um, fabric recommendations, light to medium weight fabrics with plenty of drape and movement, such as viscose, tensile or crepe. Um, it's a bust 31 inch to 59 inch, waist 22 and 7 eighths to 50 and 3 quarters, hips 33 and 7 eighths to 61 and 7 eighths. Um, so yeah, what do we think? This is by simply sewing so i like i really like i really like that um crossover detail at the front and the ruffles it's cute it's very similar to the orchid midi dress that i have with some slight changes like the skirts obviously a more flared um skirt and it's got a ruffle there as well i think they're grown on sleeves as well aren't they so yeah it is similar to that so i don't know she looks gorgeous in that she's very very pretty but yeah i don't know if i've if i've got i'm like that with it i don't know not i like it but for me i don't know whether it's something that i'm going to add to my stash because i've got something very very similar um the only thing is the ruffle but i'm sure i could add a ruffle onto the one that i have I do like it. I do like it. Yeah, so it's just one that I'll have to have a think about. Um, 
Oh, and that's it. So there, those are the patterns. Um, see, in this version, it just looks really similar to the chalk and notch orchid midi dress um, that I have and I made and I loved. So, right, I'll go through the magazine like I did last time as well. It's just easier doing it that way, I think. Um, so, simply sewing fresh ideas uh, with fabric. So the spring equinox has brought us so much inspiration for warmer colours, uh, patternly prints and not to mention patterns fit for the summer. So I won't go through all that. This is obviously the intro page. So what have we got? Good reads and ideas. So let's get into it. Liberty Fabrics, how pretty is that? It's really pretty, isn't it? I remember when I was little in East, like, you know, cut out magazines and do little mood boards and stuff little young me little me would have loved that page absolutely i've been all over that all over that um right and then there's a miniva exclusive as well um okay pin board pie in the sky so ooh, the great british sewing be the skills this go-to guide is essentially for any sewing bookshelf um some vintage prints so away basque beauty and then there's oh my mini profile from lauren from guthrie and garni so um a little profile about from her and then the pattern edit clots is the new thing so they've got some ideas of different clots there um yeah nice and then season of the stitch upcycle three of the best upcycle inspos so and some zero waste ideas classes and events i was in london or near london or birmingham um anyway so let's have a look that's cute like a little um print that gold standard jazz up your sewing space with this little uh, gold foil measure twice cut once print um inspiring books as well that they have so about upcycling and then other things as well and then if you subscribe you can get a sewing machine worth 149 pounds um when a quilted tote kit Ooh, what's this free mccall's pattern for every reader so you can pick up a free pattern if you scan the voucher that they've got in here nice it's a jumpsuit so i don't know hmm, probably not my thing to be fair um this month the joel pattern so that's really cute um mm, 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 i think i've seen this by solo patterns it's a really cute really cute pattern um and then they've got some pattern inspiration as well for ruffles so i think what they're saying is that ruffles are the big thing because there's like ruffles in this and then some if that's not your bag then these pattern ideas as well so they've got some really cute ones there the mani obviously has um featured there as well which i have got i have got that and then tips and tricks so how to get the right um, ruffle, finishing with bias, single or double, which foot. So I think it's been in the other ones as well, so it's quite similar. And then this is the, dre the dress, the pattern that we've got, the Sophia dress. Um, she looks amazing in that. She really does. So pretty. And then, so the in thing is spring fling pick a bright and busy print to make a statement or silky solid in your favorite shade and let the ruffles take the center stage so yeah i like that the fact that it's got a plain um print and then the ruffles so it's not ott everything i think citrus is the color of the season so you know um they've got like sandals bag and a cardi as well and then studio makeover so i keep telling myself that i'm gonna make a sewing machine cover and i still not got around to it i really 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 want to make a sewing machine cover i really do um 
and that as well i think that is a tool tidy i'm sure yvette from blossom sandwich has got something like that i'm sure when she's put it on instagram you know on the table underneath the sewing machine and it just everything to hand love that so yeah so i think it tells you um how you can make that an ironing board cover as well and then these little bags that you could put on your pegboard um so they're cool as well so i've got just telling you how to make them um yeah so both those pages continued and then my sewing world by uh, Meredy done and yeah some oh she's so stylish wow so it's just a profile for this lady she's got some really cool makes in here really cool and what else is this so that home sewing sustainability sustainably made so this is about learn how to make small but mighty changes to your sewing process tens that's telling you about different um fabrics and about tensile cotton what about wool and conscious sewing as well so two page spread there about sustainable sewing linen wrap trousers oh self drafted trousers that you can make for yourself here so interesting okay and then about signing up to simply sewing pattern review so pattern review um each month someone does a pattern review today it is lucy jones and she's used the tello jacket by pauline alice um yeah in a meat milk canvas in mustard love mustard so she's made that very nice and then if you didn't like what that wasn't your bag but you wanted something similar then get the look and then you've got the ilford jacket the sarah jacket which i've got and the patternless coat as well by gather gather dot how um disco skirt draft to gather and stitch your own tiered skirt for a metallic party look yeah it seems really un i'm being really fussy here but that hem looks really uneven to me. Not the hem, um, that waistbandy thing. The, I don't know, it just looks like it's all, maybe it's meant to look like that. It just looks really odd to me. Anyway, so if you want to make that yourself, it tells you how to. And then it's also the Frankie top as well. That was um, one of the patterns in there. So it goes through that, what you need and styling ideas as well um on this page love to lounge oh self-drafted loungewear set lovely i like that nice if you've seen my selfless so april vlog you'll have seen that i am thinking of making some pajamas for my sister and I have thought of the Luna pyjamas, but this is quite nice. I don't know if she'd prefer something like that, really. Um, but anyway, and then there is the Explorer backpack as well there. That's uh, the pattern that we've got as well. And then old to new, use items you already have lying at the back of your bottom of your wardrobe to make a weekend bag and an upcycled t-shirt dress. Hmm. Cool. So refashion there um what do they have to make that bag i don't I don't get it anyway bell flower bag april showers won't put a dampener on weekend farmers markets with um this waterproof oil cloth tote that's a really good idea you know so i've got some oil cloth that i got when i used to get stuff from the 
I was making a planner, this is years ago now, um, and I've got like loads of different oil cloths because I was going to make all these journals and I've got a few now and I just don't know what to do with them, they're really pretty. A tote is such a good idea, like a waterproof tote or like a, a lunch bag. Yes, I might do that actually. Um, yeah, nice. Because there's always something that leaks in the bag and then it causes a mess everywhere. Um, so, learn something new with Gathered. Crochet, slow and no, I'm slow and learn how to crochet. Because I'm one of those people that I always need to stay busy. I always need to be doing something. Um, so, you can't haul your sewing machine away with you everywhere, can you? But you can take crocheting with you. Anyway, so, Furry Monster there what's what's that so something that you can make yourself um how to draft that stitch up cycle um sure this kit this is in every time isn't it the guide essential stuff um how to measure yourself accurately machine needles again this is in every time um templates for the stuff and what else have we got? What have I missed? Again, that's a template as well. The wheelie stitcher. Yvonne is on a mission to show everyone that having a disability shouldn't stop you doing what you love. So this is um, an interview by for of Yvonne. And the next issue is Sewing Bee Special, Esme Young's book, Six Makes for Babies. Ooh, 600, worth, 600 pounds worth of prizes. Easy Sew Rain Poncho. Um, gingham backpack, self-draft apron, vintage sewing, four gifts, two patterns and a guidebook, plus a bonus digital magazine. Nice. And the Tara dress. That's the next pattern that's in there as well. So, yeah, and that's going to be on sale Thursday, the 11th of May. So I'm going to have a think about how many more magazines I've got now, because I think I'm coming up to cancelling my next one um so i hope you've enjoyed this and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it what do you think of the patterns and i'll see you in the next one bye